Hi, welcome to online grade 7 tuitions. I am teacher Kuyere. This week we are still on the topic materials and energy and we are looking at the second part titled conserving electricity. Conserving electricity. Now at the end of this lesson you should be able to do the following things. Number one, you should be able to explain the meaning of the word conserve. Number two, you should explain the different ways we can conserve electricity at home. Finally, you should be able to state or to explain the benefits of conserving electricity. Let's get started. What is to conserve electricity? Well, to conserve electricity means to use less of it and to only use it when it is necessary. So, instead of leaving the lights on throughout the day, instead of always using the stove, instead of always leaving the radio playing, when you are conserving electricity, it means you use less of it. For example, you turn off the lights when you know that you don't need to turn them on or when you don't need the lighting from the light bulbs. So what are you doing? It means you are using less of electricity and you are only using it when you really need to use it. Now, why are we talking about conserving electricity? What you need to know is that electricity is expensive. That means we spend money to buy electricity. And so we should use it carefully because if we don't use it carefully, we will be spending a lot of money and we will be losing more money. We could use that money on other things. Now for this reason, different people around the world in different countries on 14th December every year, we try to remind each other on the importance of conserving electricity. This day is called Energy Conservation Day. Well, you may be wondering, how can we conserve electricity at home? How can we control the way we use electricity? Well, there are many ways we can do it. One way is to switch off lights when you leave the room. Instead of leaving your room and you leave the lights on, you can simply turn off the lights. And you only turn them on when you are in the room and when you really need to use the lighting. Now, why am I saying that when you really need to use the lighting? Simply because there are many times when natural lighting can provide the lighting in your room instead of using a light bulb. So you can simply open the curtains so that you enjoy the natural lighting coming from outside. When you do that, you'll be using less electricity. You won't need to turn on the light bulbs. Another way is to use energy serving bulbs for lighting. You need to know that there are different types of lighting bulbs. There are ordinary lighting bulbs and those consume a lot of electricity and they are those which use very little power when you turn them on they usually come in different styles and usually there there, there will be a label on the um, packaging box which says energy serving and usually they come in different styles the the picture you are seeing is just one example of how they usually look like well what are the benefits of conserving electricity? What benefit can we enjoy when we conserve electricity? Well, there are different benefits and the following are some examples. By conserving electricity, we save money and use it on other important things. We had explained on this earlier. Number two, by conserving electricity, we save the environment from harm. What you need to understand is, like we looked at in the previous topic on sources of electricity, 
You should know by now that there are different methods for producing electricity and some methods cause harm to the environment. Some methods may involve heating up coal. Some methods which involve water may lead to polluting water. So when we use less electricity, there will be less harm being done to the environment. And when we use other methods like solar lighting, a natural method of producing electricity which uses the, 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 the heat energy from the sun to convert it to light energy, when we use such methods, we are going to have a healthier environment because such kind of a method does not produce any harm to the environment. So by conserving electricity, we save the environment from harm. Number three, by conserving electricity, we shall make electricity to be available for others to use. Imagine what would happen if every house in the community were careless with electricity. Everyone else, they don't conserve electricity, they use it anyhow. That is going to lead to a shortage in electricity supply. There will be little electricity available. But if each one of us use electricity sparingly, it means there will be electricity available for others to use. Well, that brings us to the end of this second part of the topic. And I want you now to log into your e-learning portal and attempt the grade 7 exam questions which are based on this topic. If you are wondering where you can attempt these questions, well, it means you are not enrolled for this tuition service. If you are not enrolled for this tuition service and you would like to find out more about it, please do send us an email on grade7preparation at gmail.com. Wishing you all the best.